Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris and welcome back for more Everyday RC. And you are looking at some much needed upgrades for my Traxxas X01. We got a cooling fan for the motor, we got the sway bar kit, and I got some Revo springs, different rates that I might fool with. I got the green ones and the silver ones and I got some shock covers. I had these laying around, these are some uh, outerwear shocker wares. And I figured the blue would match nice with this considering it's a blue colored X01. So, um, where am I? Well, I've been doing a lot of ordering for a lot of my vehicles lately, and this is just a few things that I got in for the X01. Uh, I've been doing a lot of tinkering and research on this car and just trying to get it as educated as I possibly can with this vehicle. I still haven't put it on the street yet guys it's still a virgin let me put the body off to the side real quick just been seeing how the car is set up and how it's all assembled and I've been really enjoying it like I said it's the winter time here so I really can't drive the car at all be springtime by the time I drive it but I have installed just for the sake of it the high speed setup just so I can say that I did it to see how that whole thing goes I might switch it back just so I can drive it on the street a little bit do a little drifting or drive around at low speeds because the motor will overheat with this setup you need to drive at high speeds with this setup and this is the 34 tooth pinion and the 52 no the 50 tooth pin, uh, spur gear sorry about that guys tripping over my words here and um I just had some black wire mesh laying around, so I installed that very quick. Give it a little bit more of a streamlined look. And that's pretty much it, guys. I ordered this on eBay. This was through a company called RC Hornet. It's the cooling fan slash heat sink. And it was approximately $30. There was a few that I had seen on there. This one was the only one that I thought really was worthy of buying. Caught my eye. Not that I really needed it, but it already comes with the wire extension so it can reach the receiver box. It was a little deceiving, which I'm not too happy about, is I was under the assumption that this covered the fan and then this goes on. And that's the way I thought I saw it on the eBay pictures, but apparently that's not how it goes. You either have this cover or you have this cover which I really like the way that this looks. It gives it a more industrial type of look, but let's face it guys, that's gonna allow every rock and pebble to enter in. So I think the plastic cover is gonna be the way to go. So I did install that and I had some Revo springs laying around because I do have two Revos. I have a Revo 3.3 and a brushless E-Revo. So I had some extra shock springs laying around. And like I said, I've been doing a lot of research and I've been hearing that people have been putting the green Revo springs on and I only have two of the greens. The next step up in uh, rate are the silvers. So I don't know, because I have four silvers, I don't know if I should put all four of the silvers on or put the greens in the front and the silvers in the back because the silvers are just a hair stiffer but they almost have the same rate when I when I press them so they are almost similar but the springs uh, the greens are have a little less tension to them so I might do that and I did think that the sway bar kit was a necessity so there's the part number for you so I picked up the sway bar kit and hopefully that will help the handling when I'm ready to put this thing on the street so let me install all this stuff guys and I'll be back in a moment and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, all the upgrades have been installed so let's check out this fan. 
You guys have to check this out. It's pretty powerful. And this fan is made by RC Hornet, like I said. Pretty powerful. All right, cool. So it's the fan. It's got the nice heat sink with it. Fits pretty good. Routed all my wires underneath, all hidden away. So they're out of the way when we're driving. I did install the Revo Silver Springs all around. I opted not to use my shock wares because these are a little old, a little dirty, banged up. I used to have these on my E-Revo and I had them laying around. I thought they'd look nice but frankly I really didn't like the way that they looked and I've been having a little bit of an issue. I don't know if anyone out there who owns an X01 but you see how close the spring is to the pinion gear I mean that is like a millimeter or two away and obviously it wouldn't have worked with the um, the fabric on here it was rubbing up against the gear which didn't bother me too much I like I said they they weren't looking too hot anyway but I've done all that I can to get this pinion gear in and it's almost impossible look at that set screw how far it is in there I've actually had to remove the whole motor disconnect the motor wires and move the whole motor out so I can tighten that set screw and I've pushed it in as far as I can and it's still pretty close and I know from the forums that that's a bit of an issue for X01 owners I need to get myself a ball and hex I believe and that might help me get it in just a little bit more but it is lined up pretty good and in fact it is pushed in a little bit more than it should be to compensate for the spring rub there but works pretty good I know that that's a common thing on this car. It doesn't rub at all, so just couldn't use the shock wear on there, which I'm not too concerned about. You know, I just wanted to cover up the red color of these springs, which doesn't really matter to me. As long as they function right, that's all that matters because um, this is what was on there, the blues all around. These are the green Revo springs, but I only had two of them, so I just decided to put the silvers in. They're a little bit stiffer. and They'll have a little bit higher of a progressive rate to them so I've heard on the forums that the X01 is like a Ferrari with the suspension of a Buick or a Cadillac so hopefully these springs will help it out a lot and it seems that it definitely improved the suspension quite significantly and I did install the sway bars front and the rear sway bar which was very easy to install all these upgrades were pretty easy to install. Hardest part was routing the wires and what's up with the receiver box on this car, guys? That receiver box is a disaster. And if you can see, there's a channel down in there where the wires run through and they come around this channel and they run down. And that, this vent channel area for the wires is attached to the servo. So I was like, forget that. I just ran my uh, fan wire down in there, you can see, and I just put some blue zip ties and it's definitely out of the way. No problems at all. You can barely even see it. So that's it guys. Uh, sorry, this my workbench is a little bit of a mess, but I wanted to show you a few tools that I use and if you don't have a set of these, get them. These are calipers. You can get the manual kind or the uh, digital ones. And uh, this is a must-have, especially with a vehicle like this. Everything has to be very precise measurements. So, all right, guys, that's just about it for me. I don't know if the video just got chopped up, but my camera just ran out of memory. So that reminds me, there's just a few things I want to talk to you guys about. A couple of plans I have for the new year. I am going to be purchasing a new video camera. There are a few that I'm tossing around right now doing some research on so I'm not going to tell you the exact one I'm going to get but that definitely will help my channel out getting a nice HD video camera it'll help me get better shots here in the shop it'll help me get better shots out when I'm running so that's another upgrade from my channel second upgrade from my channel is a video editor I had installed Sony Vegas but my computer for whatever reason can't handle it I think it's my video card in my computer but when I upload videos in it I have problems with it so 
I got Adobe Premiere. Someone actually bought that for me for Christmas, which is very nice. So that's my second upgrade for my channel, is I will be messing around with a new video editor, and hopefully that'll be making my videos look a lot nicer for you guys. So that's pretty cool. And thirdly, I'd like to just discuss the fact that I just hit and soared past 500 subscribers. So thank you very much to all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, and to everyone who's watching. Thank you very much. That's a big milestone to, to pass. You know, 500 subscribers. That's a lot, guys, and I really appreciate that. And if you watched my last video, I said that when I hit 600, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And that's true. So... Tell all your friends, tell everyone about Everyday RC and to check out my channel because once I hit 600, I'm going to be doing a nice giveaway for you guys, which is something that I don't normally do, you know. I figure that my videos are my giveaway to you guys. I don't really, I'm not a big fan of bribing people or doing these big giveaways to promote my channel, you know. I think it's cool that people do that, but it's not something that I think I really like to do you know I think that my videos and the fact that you guys watch my videos should be enough you know but the giveaway that I'm doing is not really for that it's just something cool that goes along with my channel and I said in my last video so I guess I'll tell you guys that haven't saw that video that I'm gonna be making t-shirts up so there'll be one or two lucky winners that will get a shirt I'm going to have stickers made up with the Everyday RC logo on it. And we'll have, I'll try and make as many winners as I financially can. Because <laughs> you guys, it's not cheap to make t-shirts, let me tell you. But I thought it was something cool to promote my channel. Alright guys, that's enough yapping from me. My camera just ran out of memory for the second time. So that's just proof right there I need a new camera. So, like I said guys, thanks a lot. Keep watching. Stay tuned for the giveaway and I have a lot more in store with all my vehicles so stay tuned guys alright thanks for watching and make it happen <laughs>